friends welcome to knowledge here today let us see how we can sync folders and files from sharepoint to google drive using power automate so i can see uh, many customers are still using two different technologies like sharepoint and google drive and they are uh, specifically maintaining different set of uh, documents either same in both sharepoint and google drive or uh, they are just uh, after they are done with the documents with co-sharing capabilities and then uh, with other features inside sharepoint then they are moving their documents like an archive and maintaining in google drive so let us see how we can do this by uh, using power automate which can be automated but for demo purpose i am just triggering this power automate manually this is my uh, SharePoint site where I have created a library called Sync to Google Drive and I have created uh, some uh, folders with the team A, team B and also I have uploaded some files and if you look at inside uh, team A there are uh, many subfolders so up to 2 to 3, 3 to 4 sub levels of folders and inside that subfolders there are files so likewise uh, we have also team B folder and there it has uh, subfolders okay so moving on to the Google Drive so this is my personal uh, Google Drive where I have created uh, a folder called uh, from SharePoint so this is where uh, the folders from SharePoint will be uh, copied to Google Drive now let us see uh, how we have designed the power automate flow so i have created a flow with a manual trigger and in the manual trigger i have uh, created a, a team folder name argument with a single line of text where you need to enter the team folder name so for example when i am running the power automate i will be entering uh, whether i should uh, copy files and folders from this team or this team so this is a just a demo so you can automate based on whether you are creating the folder or based on the file creation or updation you can automatically trigger the power automate to sync the files from SharePoint to OneDrive so here I have just created an argument to accept it so that based on the team name I will be triggering the workflow so now the next is uh, whether the folder created date so I am also checking whether the folder created date is within the 60 days time period if you want you can also uh, have some business logic for checking the dates if not you can just remove that part so I have just created a variable called folder created so the first action, the main action is to use the SharePoint HTTP request where I am just passing in the team folder name which I got when triggering the flow. So I am just using the API get folder by server relative URL and I have just given the site collection name including the library and then I am just mapping with the given team folder name slash folders. So this will return all the subfolders. So for example, if I have given team A means it will return all the F1, F2 and even inside the subfolders. So based on that, I am just doing the for loop. So for each results, I am just checking the folder created. So you can also use this condition. You can uh, learn how you can uh, use the SharePoint date time for conditional checking. So here I am just formatting the SharePoint uh, out of the box created date using the function format date time. So if you see the so I am just using the method format date time I am passing in the time created and then I am just formatting using uh, this format yyyy dash mm dash dd capital mm 
so after that i have just included a condition whether this folder created is greater than or equal to from the current time i am just reducing the date to 60 days so i am just checking whether the folder created is within this 60 days if the folder created is within the 60 days next i am just using the action named get files to get the files from the team folder so here I have also selected the nested item so it will return all the files including the subfolders. So once I received all the files I am just looping through all the files and folders because it get files means here it will return even the folders. So I am just checking whether it is not a folder whether it is only a file. So if it is a file, I am just getting the file content. So this action is get file content. So here I am just configured the site address and then I have just used the identifier which I will receive from the get files. So based on the identifier, I will just get the file content. And I am just using the action called create file from the Google Drive action where you have to specify the path. So from the file, we can get the file path. The file path will have the structure. For example, if I am just getting the this file, the file path will be this. Sync to Google Drive, Team A, F1, F11, F111 and then the file name. So for Google Drive folder, we just need to construct the path from SharePoint and then Team A. So we have to remove this library name. So that is what I have done it here. So from SharePoint is where the Google Drive folder and then I have just replaced sync to Google Drive with an empty space and then I have just mapped the remaining uh, path to the folder path and file name you can get it from the file content and the file content also you can get it from this above action. So here you don't have to check whether the folder already exists in Google Drive or not because once you have specified the path automatically this action will create the folder if it doesn't exist and if it already exists it will just copy your file with the file content. So here we are not copying the files from SharePoint we are just getting the content and then we are just creating a new file in Google Drive. Okay. So this action, before this action, it can also be enhanced whether the file already exists or not. If it already exists, we can just replace the file and create a new file or we can even upload, overwrite the file. There will be a version history maintained. So there are many things we can do it in this Power Automate. But to make it simple and to give a better understanding, I have just used very minimal action so that the main concept of this Power Automate is to get the files from SharePoint and then place it in Google Drive and that is what we are trying to achieve. So once this action is done, so automatically whatever the path we have mentioned here from Team A, the same path will be available here. So let us uh, test this Power Automate. So let me uh, refresh this page. So here I have just given the team folders and I'll just refresh the Google Drive. So it is done. So there is no folders available here. Now let me go and then trigger the workflow. So I will just choose manual. So at the time of triggering it will ask the team folder name. So let me give team A and then I will run the flow. So the flow started running. So it will take some time because there are uh, multiple sub levels of folders and files so i'll just uh, quickly forward the video and then we'll come back once the flow is done the flow has been run uh, successfully and it almost took uh, three minutes because we have multiple levels of folders and subfolders so now let us go and refresh uh, SharePoint in Google Drive so you can see the team folder is created team A and inside team A there are uh, other uh, subfolders are created and inside F1, 11, 
triple one and you can see all the files and uh, let me open it in uh, side by side so that uh, you can see the structure so f1 one one triple one and then you can see the files so likewise uh, we'll check for other uh, folders so you can see so this is how um, you can uh, copy the files from SharePoint to Google Drive so as I told earlier this is a very simple power automate flow to explain how you can uh, copy the files from SharePoint to Google Drive so based on your business requirement you can implement more uh, business logics the conditions and you can change the manual trigger to the automatic trigger so that whenever a file is uh, uh, created or it has some specific properties whenever the properties are updated or it may can it may even have an approval so whenever an approval is done whenever the files are approved or rejected so you can make it to automatically copy a move from sharepoint to google drive thank you thanks for your time thanks for watching have a good day